Hey you, good morning. Welcome home to Mailer's Landing. I'm Sue and we are here in Growing Zone 6B in New England. It is the 12th of December. I know that because it's my son's birthday and yesterday was my birthday. My gentleman husband, whom I adore, made not one, but two key lime pies. The spa. Oh my God. He put the zest on it. So good. And it snowed for my birthday. How awesome is that? Oh my goodness, it is so bright and so beautiful out here. So that's how it's going. Me too, girl. So I saw both girls get bread and I'm hoping that means we will have babies on the way in May. Oh Nellie here we go. Somehow and only very recently the chickens have discovered that when it's cold they can stay inside. There are no chickens to be seen. And on the inside yes ma'ams we got some chickens. It was very cold this morning, so I put half their scratch in here, and they're churning it up, which is fantastic. Uh, that's what we want for a deep litter method compost. Okay, girls, I'll shut the door. Timing on the compost turn couldn't have been better. They had about a day in between finishing that turn and the snow come down. Yeah, it's a little magical out here this morning. Look at these frosted trees. Oh. Hey buddy, how's the coffee? It's good. It's bright out here. Mm -hmm. Feels good. Yeah. This is their first snow that's stuck. You so stinky, mister. <coughs> yes. I'm just saying. It's looking a little better with a couple inches of snow on it now. Mm-hmm. A little like clean paper, right? I'm done with the gray season. Oh, there will be more, but this certainly helps. Yeah. Anyway, welcome to my living room. Behind me is our Christmas tree. And right over there, is where the menorah is going to go. I haven't mentioned it in a hot minute. We are a blended family. I married a Gentile. Why did I marry a Gentile? Probably because Christmas. Clearly, more went into play than just, you know, Christmas. I grew up in a nice Jewish household. We didn't do Christmas trees. The first bunch of years that Bill and I were together, we didn't really do a Christmas tree in the house. And when Lib was little, we didn't do a Christmas tree in the house then either. And we kind of split it up like, oh, we do Christmas at grandma's, you know, um, and we do Hanukkah at home or we do it with Nana and Pop Pop. So we never had a Christmas tree tradition. The breakdown was inevitable. And of course, like all the best breakdowns, it happens in public. And so there I was in Target in between lines of like fake Christmas trees and beautiful sparkly baubles. Weeping. Like you do. In my own defense, it was a whole season of weeping in Target. And that's when my phone rang. On the phone was my sweet, sweet sub Aisha. And they are listening to me weep in Target. And we're on speakerphone, because of course, right? And Aisha's listening to me weep in Target. And then I realize Aisha is also weeping along with me. Aisha grew up a nice Muslim kid. They didn't do Christmas trees either. Then Aisha told me, hey, I don't know if you know this, sob, sob, hiccup, but in my closet, there's a whole shoe box full of ornaments. We are not just weeping anymore. No, no, now we are both sobbing in Target on speakerphone. 
Which is when Bill walks up behind me and says, Hey, I think we should get a Christmas tree. I think you're right. And so a heretic's Christmas began. And everybody gets to put up a little bit of something on the Christmas tree. And it's just, it's lovely. It's lovely. And I'm so glad that I get to bring the twinkly lights inside and we get to bring outside, inside. So let me show you our tree. I'm so stinking proud of it. I have no idea where the star came from, um, but we have it. This ornament, this ornament is a replacement for an antique that Bill had in his family for generations. Unfortunately, it met a terrible demise um, via cat when it was up on the bookshelf. So Bill had replaced it. And Raina got a bunch of us these cute little ornaments. Isn't she sweet? This lovely bobble came from Karen G. And a Cynthia French wreath. And another Aisha ornament. And um, I don't know, I wanted birds and butterflies. It's kind of my thing. Oh, bird, you're cut off. So just birds, butterflies. Ooh, I spy a pickle. And a little bit of something special here and there. So yeah, Christmas tree was certainly on my list of things to think about when I got married. <laughs> I figure the more holidays we've got, the more we get to celebrate. So, right? You know, life should be about celebration. Nobody was put here to be miserable. Seriously, though. I mean, what do you want to do with your life? Right? Are you here to be miserable? I don't want to be miserable. I want to celebrate the hell out of this thing. I want to be here for all the joy. I wouldn't tell you I'm necessarily a good vibes only kind of person that's really, you know, I recognize life can be a roller coaster, but I also recognize that if we're all miserable, it's really hard to get out of the hole, right? But if we can hang on and be present and be joyful in the moments of joy for each other, we can help each other out of the hole. That's, you know, that's what friends are for. I'm sitting here the day after my birthday and I just got done looking at all the Facebook messages from yesterday and I'm feeling, I'm feeling really well loved and very well taken care of. There was key lime pie last night and pizza with friends and it was just lovely. It was just lovely. This is a merry and bright season. Um, this season is really different for us than it was last year. Um, Bill's dad passed away last year and it was, it was expected. He had been ill a long time. Um, but also even when you expect loss, you know, it all kind of tumbles down and feels sudden. Um, so last year was much more low key. It was, um, a little more somber, but this year is brighter. I feel Charlie hanging out with us for sure. Um, and I just, I want to take this beauty and brightness with both hands and be here for it. That's what we're going to do this year. So that's the story of our little blended family. And I say, just keep celebrating more holidays. Let's have a good time. Cake. Hello, son of mine. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us. We'll catch you up soon. Take care. Bye-bye.